In this video, I'd like to introduce to you another 2D technique. This is the so-called HMBC or the Heteronuclear Multiple Bond Correlation. What is that? Again, we need a heteroatom. It's again the carbon atom. And we look how these ones are connected or linked to hydrogen atoms. We looked already at the HSQC where we could see the connection between a hydrogen atom and a carbon atom via a single bond. In the H and B C, we don't see this connection at all. What we see instead is the carbon that is next to the carbon where the hydrogen is connected to. And sometimes we see also the carbon which is next to the next carbon. So by looking at this picture, you see a correlation or a cross peak from this red hydrogen atom over to this red carbon atom and with some luck to this purple carbon atom. A moment ago I just showed you a very generic molecule. Here I have my ibuprofen and I try to show you what this means when we look at the ibuprofen. So again I have highlighted one of the hydrogen atoms. I could have used any of those. Those are obviously also the same. So what do we see there? We see a correlation not to the next carbon atom, but to the next to the next and the next to the next. So the red one and the purple one. I just selected one here. You can obviously do exactly the same exercise from, from any hydrogen. So what we could see if, if we would look at this hydrogen atom, which is not highlighted, then we would see nothing to this carbon, but we could see this carbon and possibly that carbon. We possibly see also a connectivity to this carbon atom and this carbon atom. If we start from this hydrogen atom, we don't see that one, but we should see that one, that one and possibly one further away. Here I have the HMBC opened in MNOVA. Again, it looks a little bit like a cozy, but again, we don't see a diagonal. So, and there are many, many more islands, and there is also not, not a difference in color. As in all of those cozy experiments or two-dimensional experiments, I can play with the mouse wheel and make things deeper or more shallow. So I select something where I just see all my spots. It's a bit of a feel how much we want to turn our wheel, how much we want to see. So, obviously, the weaker correlations may just vanish, so you need to be a bit careful and think about it, how deep you want to have it. Again, we need traces. I have selected already the correct traces, so here in the setup I have selected for the vertical one the uh, depth Q and the horizontal trace is the proton, so that's all fine. And we see our spectrum here. If we select any peak, we can select something from the proton or we can select something from the carbon then we see that there are usually several peaks on one line. So I use my cross tool and for example here I know that I have the carbonyl carbon atom and I can see that is correlating to two additional carbon atoms where protons are hanging on. So this is a quaternary one. So that is this carbon and that's away two bonds to this position and to the hydrogen on this position. We can do this also the other way around. Here we know that is the CH group in this position and this one should correlate to quite a number of peaks. So here we have a different view. What I've done here, I've been copying in the uh, ibuprofen we saw a moment ago. However, what I've done here as well, the um, lower part of the spectrum is still intact, so you can see it. So I'm looking at this hydrogen atom and that can interact, not with its own, but can interact with the carbonyl carbon. If I select it here, 
that's also true if I move down this line here then I end up at the carbon or carbon so that's fine hydrogen atom will also interact with this carbon that's a bit difficult to see because at the moment I have the picture in the way I can move the picture for a moment so now it's on the side so I said that this hydrogen should be able to interact with this carbon atom so I go back to my crosshair tool go down and indeed we see several peaks here so we see that one here that's a quaternary one so this carbon atom which we never knew which one it is must be this carbon atom here and remember when we looked at the proton enema we couldn't distinguish between this set of protons and that set of protons now we can because this hydrogen atom can only correlate to those carbon atoms never to those here so if we go in here then we see that it's correlating to the top we have now also identified which of the carbon atoms is linked to this peak here so there is no correlation with this one that one is actually linked to another one and if you follow here you can see that this one is linked to the CH2 group so this must come from the other side so it's a hydrogen that is interacting not with its own carbon but with this one and this carbon so by this you can go through the whole spectrum and get an idea how the different atoms are connected